Let's look at another uh, deck. This is my uh, green black um, old fashioned style of the rock. Uh, I'm going to take you over to mana base and then the cards. So, a quick glance at the cards. Really fast look. Okay. The mana base is strictly just forests and swamps. About uh, 13 of them, I think. Then we have Overgrown Tombs, Lanor Waste, and a Lone Golgari Rot Farm. Um, the reason that there's only a couple of basic lands in there is because I don't want to be mastered at all. I very rarely do get mastered with this deck, and the next few cards will show you why. <clears throat> anyway, um, I am running a full playset of the Overgrown Waste and Lanor Waste, or Overgrown Tombs and Lanor Waste. And uh, they did cost me quite a bit to pick up, but I've been working on this deck for a few years, and it's not a deck I'm taking apart anytime soon. So for turn one, our plays can consist of Lay of the Land, Lanorel, Festering Goblin, and Carrion Feeder. Or is that called the Little Ravager? Now, the deck likes to get quite a bit of mana going, as you should be able to tell from just these two here. So the ideal play for this deck is to drop a lay of the land because we'd rather get the mana going and not have it possibly die on us via Venom Ralph Destruction. Um, not having any of those, the Fenstring Goblin being a utility creature, acts like a, the new Mog Fanatic and the Carrying Feeder, although not blocking, can very quickly become trouble if you combine with either of those two and you just keep swinging. Christian combined with the turn two play of uh, Sakura Tri Builder, which again helps with that mana. Not so good now with the rules change. The deck has gotten a little bit weaker, or a lot weaker, so I do have to adjust it for the rules, but it's a um, work in progress yet, I guess, after the rules change. So for turn two, we actually have Sakura Tri Builder and Toxic Stench. Not the greatest card for a turn two play, but it is something that can be done. Like the Turn two play should not be consisting of kills. They should be consisting of smoothing out that mana base the rest of the way. Also available on turn two is life and death, but very rarely have I played either unless I'm facing down the most fastest aggro deck ever, in which case the death part is not going to help me bring back anything but Festering Goblin. Turn three, we can start worrying about creature kill with Renflesh. I very rarely see spirits... Um, on any table. So I'm paying a little bit more instead of a terror, but it can at least hit black creatures. Haven't had a problem with it yet, but I do play a lot of casual. Um, also on turn three is the Morpher and Tuku Vigilant. Not once has have I had troubles with this guy. Occasionally I play something else over him, but no, it's usually the turn three plays him, especially if I know they're running enchantments and artifacts. The lone two copies is what would be a naturalized in this spot, and I don't like holding naturalized because most of the time it is a dead card when facing a opponent who's not running artifacts or enchantments. So the vigilant gets in there every time. But if you don't play him on turn three, he's your turn four play, and so is the symbiotic elf. Symbiotic elf is there. Just for the combo, the turn 5 play of Frixian Plague Lord or Carrion Feeder on turn 1. The uh, Symbiotic Elf is continuing source of power for this deck. Is probably the reason why I built this deck so I could keep taking advantage of those tokens when it dies. Plague Lord being the MVP of the deck along with um, Carrion Feeder, the Plague Lord takes most of the games itself. If it doesn't take the game itself, then you only have to wait until about turn 6 before you can get an entwined Rude Awakening going. And that should win you the game. But it's more of a casual rock deck. It's not supposed to be super competitive, which is why I'm not running Birds of Paradise over um, Land or Elves. Why I'm not running um, Better Removal or even Better Enchantment and Artifact Hate in the form of um, or that Ravnica block card was one green black to start target artifact or creature. I like being able to handle enchantments too. The other oddball, oddball card in the deck is Midnight Ritual, which I originally wanted to have at least two in here, but it hasn't come up so often that I need it in a two of. It goes for both of those cards. They're both one ofs. 
uh, life and death was a one-off as well until I figured out I had five symbiotic elves. <laughs> so the fifth or the second life and death has to be tested yet, but yeah, that is the deck. Um, Semi-formal, formal, competitive, casual, and uh, I like to see your green black rock builds as well. Keep in mind this is rock, not green black. Um, you know, F and M quality style. Even if it could have been legal, this wasn't made to slaughter opponents. It was made to win consistently, but not like a Ravager Affinity deck. <laughs>